Manu, you published an article last month on LinkedIn where you mentioned, and I quote you, needing Canadian experience doesn't hold any clout in my opinion, which I totally agree with you, especially for the newcomers. But still companies give that excuse to, to new immigrants. In your opinion, why? And what should companies do to make it better or to help the new immigrants they are coming here to find jobs better? It's a tough one, right? Like that rejection of not having, it's nothing more than discrimination. It's just a, a very polite way of saying, I'm sorry, there's something that I don't like about you, mm -hmm. um, flat out. Because if you look at, unless you're coming into like a regulatory role where it's, there's some specific compulsory things that are only done unique in Canada, but then you can train people for that, right? They've got the aptitude for it. And I think the frustrating part is that I read a survey in that article you referenced, I can't remember the exact number, but employers in majority would rather have a new grad with zero experience as opposed to hiring a new immigrant with years of experience, but just no Canadian experience. And that, that flat out is just flat out discrimination. And, and I think it's silly, given that we have, especially in the technology world, there's no need to have Canadian experience. Um, Java is Java, C sharp is C sharp, you know, being a good business analysis. Is, but I do think at some point, right, it is this question of, um, I think lack of Canadian experience is a bit of a mirror for, we're a little uh, unsure about your language skills. And does it come from the top platform, the CEO, like if the direction is that like that, or is it recruiters should be trained more or give direction that, hey, if a new immigrants come, they're okay, interview them. So the direction should come from the top or what do you think should be changed? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a combination of both, but ultimately somebody has to have the courage to do it. Mm -hmm. And somebody has to have the courage to back a new immigrant up and say, well, if it fails, it fails. But then if it, if it goes great to really evangelize that. Um, I mean, I've seen companies whose CEO is very pro a uh, new immigrant, but ultimately it comes down to one individual or two individuals that are interviewing if they don't yeah. dive with you, they don't think that your comprehension skills. So, so if you feel that you're maybe your English comprehension skills or your accent is too heavy or you're not able to answer their questions effectively, I think it's important to like, use that behavioral interview approach. Keep that star in mind, situation, task, action, result, mm -hmm. and bring other, like create a wiki or a, an online site to show off your stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, say, hey, and, and, and be frank, hey, you know, maybe my English, humility is always a good thing. My English isn't great. I wanna show you this, which I think will show you my, my ability, right? Or make a video and send that in. Uh, or say that, you know, I am working on uh, my English because I recognize I've got uh, a way to go. Because I mean, most jobs, and even if you're client-centric, client-centered, you don't necessarily, you don't need to be a 10 out of 10, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And not every role would require a lot of written English from a grammar standpoint. There's a lot of native speakers that have terrible grammar and do not know how to write too. So, right, and those people don't get weeded out. So I think it's a combination of, you know, it's, it's, it's funny because we talk about this with so many employers, but it's a bit of a question of uh, talking to, preaching to the, the converted, right? They already, yeah. it's the companies that aren't. So I'm often like, do we often go into a campaign on Glassdoor and you create an app and pull out these companies that people are feeling that they're being discriminated against? Mm -hmm. And then do we kind of go after them in a, in a positive way and trying to educate? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it's, it, it, it is a tough one. Uh, but I think there is more that new Canadians can do, as I said, you know, following that behavioral um, interview guide of STAR, using kind of a portfolio to highlight um, their skills. But companies can do a better job of the recruiting process and philosophy and get, enabling people an opportunity to show off their aptitude, yeah. right? Show their ability to learn. And they may not, they don't, I'm a firm believer, hire for aptitude and personality and then train for skill. Yeah. And I feel that in that sense, you've done some work in the community. While I was interviewing last week, uh, Patrick McKenzie, I know that we mentioned to you because you came to a round table at Employment Immigration Council and you were talking about the new immigrants. So there are things that as CEO or experts that can do help the new immigrants. I, yeah. 
everybody can make change, right? What if, if a butterfly flaps its wings over in Brazil, right? It, right. So I think, and I think it's incumbent upon businesses to do such, right? I'm, I'm very lucky that I work as part of a company. Uh, one of our core values is to build community. And this is just one of the ways that uh, I'm choosing to build community is to, you know, make things better uh, for new, for new Canadians ultimately. And I've had the benefit of growing up here and being born here and, uh, right. And it's just, it's a way of giving back. Mm -hmm. uh, and oddly enough, you know, doing what's right is actually ultimately good for business. For sure. For sure. And again, thank you, Manu, for those great tips and for the audience watching, if you have any other tips for newcomers, how can they integrate to the Canadian labor market? Please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Manu.